Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with a bonus video for you today, an iPad 2 rumor roundup for you, and this is a couple of days ahead of the March the 2nd event where Apple is expected to announce the details and full availability of the next generation iPad. Now do tune in to both the Geek and Noise channel and the Daily Tech TV channel on March the 2nd. I will be bringing you update videos late on in the day, so probably in the evening around about 7 to 8 p.m. GMT time with all of the details, pricing, specifications and availability of whatever Apple decide to announce at their event. Now the rumours as to what people are expecting are coming in thick and fast. The first one is at 9 to 5 Mac. You can find the full article on their website at 9 to 5 Mac.com and they're actually anticipating that Apple will release a white iPad. Now this is a very big possibility. We know that the white iPhone was actually delayed due to problems which apparently have now been solved so we are expecting a white iPhone very soon as well and if this is true then there's no reason why Apple won't match the, de the designs of the iPhone and actually launch both a black bezel and a white bezel version of the next gen iPad. You can see on this photo on your screen there's a cutout at the top here uh, for the camera and also cut out for the home button so if this were true then the next gen iPad would sport the home button that we were kind of thinking might disappear on this next generation. Now the next website that also claims to have got some pictures of the next gen iPad is Boy Genius Reports. You can find their website at bgr.com and they've got this um, photo from a tipster of what could be the back of the next gen iPad you can see here a definite rear facing camera here and that makes me wonder whether that previous one the white one with the cut out of the top whether that is actually for a camera or whether that's for some sort of sensor um, we do uh, know that the current iPad um, has some ambient light sensing in it so it could be where they're positioned in the sensor or it could be a front facing camera as well but you can see on this picture here from Boy Genius Reports that um, we've got very very nice tapered edges a very flat back to the design of course the rear facing camera you can't quite see on this photo whether there is any improvement or different um, design to the speaker but we will know very very soon as I say that March 2nd event coming up in just a couple of days time now the next one this is a really nice roundup so I really do suggest you head on over to crunchgear.com and they've got a room around up as well and this is absolutely fantastic that they're just covering off each different aspect of the iPad starting off with the more compact form factor and they're saying that um, the case makers have received measurements differing from current iPad by small but noticeable amounts mainly in depth so it does seem that if this is true we will see a slightly sort of thinner or more tapered edge iPad too uh, regarding the size, um, they're saying about a 7 inch tablet. Well, I don't think that's personally going to happen. I think that Apple will stick to the current size that they manufacture now. An SD card slot, a lot of people want this. They want the ability to add some storage uh, or extra storage to the iPad 2. Um, the argument against it is that Apple haven't done this on any other device. Now, I can't see them. Uh, doing this on the iPad they, they have done it on their laptop range but that's that's very different with the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air and of course the iMac an SD card slot for getting hold of your photos and transferring them across to the devices is, is a foregone conclusion you really need to do that so that was a welcome addition I don't personally think they're going to add an SD card slot or an SD HD or XC card slot at all I think they're going to keep it just as the internal storage capacity and you'll have to continue buying an add-on. Then they go on to discuss the processor. At the moment the iPad runs an A4 processor. Well an A5 one would be a natural progression. The iPad needs to put a step up in the processor speed to stay current with the other manufacturers tablets that are coming out later in the year. A lot of them are actually touting core um, sorry core 2 duo I almost said them but dual, dual core processors um, so Apple need to really address the situation of processor speeds dual cameras well I covered that off in the last little update the screen resolution 
Maybe they will go up in resolution, maybe they won't. If they do, I don't think they're going to go up to a really high resolution. I think they're going to stick to maybe something that's uh, 1280 by 720 um, and or possibly even just keep the same screen resolution as they have now, which is 1024 by 768. Secondary ports, can't see it happening. Improved speaker, this is something that was missing on that Boy Genius report photo. I do think that Apple will revise both the speaker quality and also the position and the grills on the new iPad 2. Now a step up in improved processor could mean more applications come into the iPad and I won't take away from Crunch Gear's uh, coverage of this anymore. I just suggest you head on over to their website and really just check out what they're talking about. Fantastic little write-up. Now the last website that I looked at was the Wall Street Journal. They've been very, very uh, well briefed before when it's come to new devices. And they're saying that the new iPad will be thinner and lighter. And I think I agree with that a great deal. I think that's a, a foregone conclusion. It will offer features like video conferencing. Yes, I do think it will. I think that the front facing camera is more likely than the rear facing if they were only to do one. Let's hope they do both. Um, and it just goes on to say that since the iPad's release, Apple has sold 14.8 million units of the current device. So that is absolutely fantastic. And I can really predict, I mean, there's a prediction here that Apple will sell 27 million iPads this year. I think it will far exceed that. So a very, very good article on the Wall Street Journal. Uh, as for my view, well, my personal view of the new iPad is that it's definitely going to be thinner. It's going to sport either one or two cameras. I do think that the white version might be a possibility. And I do think we're going to see a real change on the back of the iPad with this flatter design and also the speaker. With regards to memory, I think memory is going to increase possibly to uh, 512 megabytes or one gigabyte. The processor speed will definitely move up a notch. It's got to do that to stay ahead of the game against the competitors. And I just hope that battery life doesn't suffer because of the increase in processing power. Well, that's it for this roundup of the rumors on the new iPad 2. As I said at the beginning of this video, March the 2nd, so this Wednesday, we'll see an announcement from Apple where they are expected to announce this new version of the iPad. I'll be covering the event for you and bringing you all the details both here on the Daily Tech TV channel and also over on the Geekanoids channel as well. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.